Hi guys, this is Daniel and Justin from Carte Blanche Teco. In this video series, uh, we would like to explain you the whole functions of the Carte Blanche V4 Autopilot app. Um, as you can see in the link below, uh, if you just click on it, you have the full access to our um, virtual app. So that means um, we've set it up some uh, demo data and you can try all the functions of the board itself. You can easily go to your lake, you can create a raster there, you can create routes, the board will automatically drive there. So that means, uh, yeah, it's a virtual um, app like you've been, like when you are at the lake, 99% uh, of the functions you can directly use within this app because of the demo data we already put in. So, um, of course, you cannot create a 3D map. If this would be possible, then uh, we there would no need uh, to sell any more boats again uh, anymore. So, um, yeah, as you can see, you can try it nearly everything on the app. The good thing is um, you can't destroy anything. So just give it a try. We will, in this first video, we will give you a rough overview of the whole app itself. Um, yeah, how it in yeah how it works, uh, what you can do, and of course in the uh, next videos we've planned one video a week uh, for now. Um, we will go a bit deeper in all the single options. That means we will create a video for how to use the echo sounder, the different types of echo sounders, uh, how to see fish, uh, how to check if it's hard or soft bottom. Then we will give you another video um, where you can see all the autopilot functions, how to create a route, how to set a raster for mapping and all the things. This will be done step by step. Um, for now, um, if there are any questions um, where during the explanation, um, please feel free to, to write it underneath, yeah, because um, this will uh, give us the benefit, or you as well, uh, that we can maybe answer these questions in one of the next videos. I think that um, could help you and us. Um, yeah, thank you for that in advance. And um, yeah, for now, I think um, we will just show you the app. Like, like, uh, like I've said, um, we are using the same app like you can find in the link below. We will just uh, start it up and here we go. So this is the general overview and uh, Justin will now start to explain you the first things. So we'll start off with the top bar. Um, the first icon is the tablet battery. So you know how much you've got there. Yeah, that's this here. Um, then it's the boat batteries. It's always two batteries. It's, it's not main and backup, not now. Um, it makes no difference. So then this is the uh, strength indicators here. Yeah. Of that the, means of, one for the autopilot, single, yeah. one for the echo sounder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then this is the multi-function button. Uh, normally start autopilot, whatever, you know, how you want to do it. This here is the um, basically the distance from the tablet to the boat. And this here is when you set a point, how far that route is. Or point, route, waypoint, whatever. Um, temperature, fairly self-explanatory. And over here, you got the depth. And this, uh, that's your options. Yeah, so, but we'll, we'll get into that later. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, and um, yeah, of course, um, as usual, uh, when you've now seen the, the screen first time, uh, yeah, you don't know what to do, therefore uh, we are doing this video. The cool thing is uh, we've set it up a lot of explanations, so that means if you once click a button, for example this one, you can directly see an explanation of all the single options, so this will definitely help you to get started. And like I've said, it's better um, to have this app. You can easily, in the evening, you can uh, yeah, just give it a proper try on the couch because when you are at the lake and then you need to learn how to use the boat, of course, this is a waste of fishing time and uh, yeah, you can easily do it at home with this app. That's the idea behind it. And um, yeah, just click around. You can't destroy anything. Um, of course, we will explain all the single options later on in the other videos. And um, yeah, I think that's just a quick starting up video. So as you, but anyway, as you can see, we're in the app, yeah? So here you have the echo sounder screen. Um, what's important is if you're mapping or anything like that, you know, you're not really paying attention to the echo sounder screen, you can actually make this screen smaller. Um, you know, whatever you wanna do, but for the moment, we'll make it large, yeah? So if you move over, now this one here, the eye icon, that's basically your different views. So whatever you want to choose, sonar, side, down, 50-50, that's not a problem. Here, that's your, your standard sort of um, 
controller of the echo sounder so if you want to do track back or anything like that um that's all done from this menu here yeah here you have your settings for your um fish finder as well so sonar view side view down view real vision so it's all the different um aspect ratios and colors and things like that depth lines you want to show them that's off that's back on now auto yeah that that's actually depth yeah and uh, i always say you know twice twice the depth of the lake you're on that's a good rule of thumb so it otherwise keeps... just use the auto yeah. depth is what i always yeah. do because this is yeah then uh, not depending on the depth the real depth of the lake uh, you always have the perfect setting, but of course, especially in the UK with the yeah, shallow, shallow lakes, lakes. Yeah. then it makes sense to set a, a, um, a fixed uh, depth range. Yeah, yeah definitely. Mm. Um, because I mean, when it's when it's a very shallow lake, like six foot, you're only you, it, the picture's right at the top. You know, yeah, it's yeah. it's really hard to see. Of course. Mm. So uh, here's another icon. Like you said, that that's this is the main one you're going to use at the beginning. It's just simply setting a point, easy to do. You know, self-explanatory. Um, the flash icon that's where you, these are all programmable as well so it doesn't really matter what what you've got where but at the moment here it's hoppers you know but you can see here one hopper would change to a spiral if you had a spiral plugged in so it's fairly easy to do yeah so and uh, like, yeah we can always repeat our words <laughs> just give it a try you don't need to be afraid trying before buying that's the key yeah so um yeah just play around it's for free uh you cannot destroy anything and uh of course like i said it's important while you're using it and you have uh questions just, uh, just write them underneath and we will definitely answer them uh in one of the next videos um yeah i think uh for now this is one of yeah this these are the main important things uh, how to get started with the app and uh just give it a try. Always read the um, instructions carefully because. Uh, oh, sorry, they are gone. One second. Yeah, this will help you, especially in the beginning. Um, yeah, how to yeah that you directly know where you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, um, just for the first video, uh, we would not go uh, deeper in all the options for now. I would say it's just uh, for you. Just give it a try. You know in general how to use it now. And um, yeah, in the next videos, we will explain all the crazy functions of yeah, the Yeah, and uh, it can do a lot. Of course it can. Yeah. Okay, then for now, yeah, we hope that video was a bit helpful just to get started with the app. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And we would like uh, you to visit us in uh, one of the next videos. Yeah. Next week, I think it's next Wednesday. Yeah. Yes, next week exactly. And um, yeah, trust us, guys. There are crazy, a lot of crazy functions which are going to be explained. This video was a bit, uh, yeah, yeah, not that interesting. But uh, of course, you can now, uh, you now know how to use it, uh, and yeah, just give it a try. Yes, yeah, it's just basically the you know the computer version of our app. It's yeah. so you can play around with it. Mm -hmm. You know, no mistakes can be made. You know. You do something wrong, start again. Simple as that. Yeah. And the good thing is, like I said already, um, you don't uh, need to go to the lake to to uh, practice, uh, to learn how to use the boat. The basic steps which uh, you need to do with the boat, you can also do here. So I think that makes things so easy to yeah. get uh, started with the boat. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Then thanks for watching again. Hopefully you have a great weekend. And uh, for now, we'll say thanks for watching. Bye-bye. And have a great day. All right. Cheers.